Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. I got another Madden 18 Money Play video. I got a defensive video, and I am so excited to bring this to you because to me, this is the best defense in the game right now. It may look familiar to some of you because I put out a very similar play out of this formation last year, and it was the most viewed uh, video I've ever made. Uh, but it's back, and it's back in a big way. And, and to me, it's even better this year. There's so much more that you can do with it. I'm going to show you how you guys can basically tailor this defense uh, to basically use in any situation, including run defenses that are, are typically um, given issues with weak box systems I find that this run defense actually does pretty good uh, but obviously you want to test that yourself I don't want to sell it like it's going to shut down uh, like a 4-4 shuts down on, on a big run play but I, I just find that I don't get weak box system as bad when I re use this compared to some of these other nickel defenses so to me it's 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 good in just about any situation uh, but obviously you still want to match personnel somebody's coming out something heavy he's probably still want to go with a 4-3 or a 4-4 whatever but either way this formation right here uh, I'm going to show you how you can use it to, to be a blitz. You can use it to uh, use it in man coverage, zone coverage, whatever. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to show you a play. Like I said, it might look familiar to some of you. It's the three Sam Will Blitz. But like I said, it's really different this year. Obviously, there's a lot of zones and a lot of things that changed. All right, so real quick, I'm going to go over how I ran it last year. Now, last year, what I told you to do was to press. You can't press anymore. This is very important. Cover threes get murdered on press. I don't know why Madden designed it that way, but if you press, you're going to get burnt. So don't do that. At the very least, you can base a line. I think that that's much better. Um, you're not going to I mean, pressing's good. If you think they're going to run the ball, pressing's fine. It'll help you with the corners down at the line of scrimmage, but otherwise, don't do it. I mean, it, it, you just get burnt. I don't. It's not just this play. It's cover three and general just gets beat deep when pressing so uh, don't do that so base line would be the first adjustment that I would say is changing I, I didn't say that last year this year I would say that other than that um, I would say that your uh, your safety here in the previous year I brought him down the box that's fine but I don't think it's necessary I think for run defense it's better just to leave him right here um, I don't want him outside anymore last year I said have him outside for outside runs this year I think that's not the way to go I think you want him inside uh, to help you with runs because like I said this is relatively effective uh, if you're being outmatched in size, uh, but you need guys in the middle. As far as the weak box system goes, they kill at the point of attack. Uh, if, if that's what happens, uh, if you get, you know, if the game decides it, your defensive lineman will get pancaked, but your, your, your backers behind will not in the same way. They won't get reached as quick, and they'll be able to fill the holes. So that's, the, that's one way I would do it. If you think it's going to be a run, I say you saw how I picked Irvin up and moved him outside. Um, if you think it's an outside run, it's a good idea to have him outside a little bit. But if you think it's an inside run, I move him off the line just so he's, uh, you know, like I say, he's not in that first wave of guys right, getting so I just smashed. I want to show this base D real quick against um, an obvious, obvious disadvantage here uh, to see how it works against, um, you know, against uh, the weak box system. So let's go ahead and let's run this. Like I said, that's I have two tight ends and a fullback here, but you're seeing how nobody's really getting getting pancaked or pummeled. This is this is essentially handling the weak box. Which they said defenses like this we're not gonna be able to do. Look at that, boom, nowhere to go, and that wasn't me that time. So I just wanted to prove my point about how this defense surprisingly will work against the weak box if you set it up this way. And once you go get that user, I mean, I'm not getting to tackle every time, but you see that it's getting there. You see it's getting to the whole, it's, it's getting, that's the wrong guy. You see it's getting um, where it needs to be. All you have to do is stand that linebacker up. It's real simple. Typically on his own, look at that, nowhere to go, nowhere. You know what I'm saying? That's the safety getting it done. I'm not saying you want to run this defense. If somebody's religiously pounding the rock on you, obviously you want to bulk up. But I'm just saying that if you don't know what your offense or player is running, this is a good base defense that will shut down the run against big-time runs. Which, you know, as far as I know, this type of play doesn't exist in the game right now. A nickel defense that can handle uh, the run like this. Cause that, cause EA essentially said this wouldn't, this wouldn't work, and I found a way, <laughs> made it work, and you can too. Look at that, that's just wow. I tried to hit stick, but you know what? At least my safety's there. But that's what really makes it effective. This safety being in the box essentially makes this like a four-four defense. It really does. Not a four-four, four-three. My bad. That safety's kind of acting like 
Wow, I totally whiffed on that hit stick, but he's still only getting two yards. I don't have to make the play. Something that's really annoying this year is if it's like third and ten, somebody could just switch to a run and just get it to first down. It's ridiculous. But if you come out in something like this, it's not really there. As you can see, my, my safety is just making the play like every time. Yeah, this should be getting destroyed by the weak box system. That's what this game is this year. You come out in a nickel, you get slaughtered. He's only getting like three yards. Big deal. I'll take that all day, every day. If somebody gets three yards on offense, they're probably going to get frustrated and stop doing it anyway. And it all comes from just standing that guy up. It all comes from having that safety in the box to stand up that linebacker. That's all you got to do. Stand up that linebacker, safety in the box, and you basically have a makeshift 4-3. Four, three, or a four, three. Look at that. No holes. Now, another thing that's really weak this year is um, your, your uh, linebackers are horrible in uh, zone coverage, especially to the outside. They just don't do it the way that they should. And, I, and Madden basically told you that. EA told you that. If you have, a lot of other YouTubers have as well, that if you have a linebacker covering receiver, they're going to get beat. It's the weak box system in the passing game, the same way they have the weak box system in the run game. So this formation is really good because you don't have that. Your outside zones are Amerson, who's a corner, and a safety who should be able to handle that relatively easily, where a lot of other nickel defenses have linebackers doing it, and they just get pooped on. So that's what makes this defense especially uh, good against um, against uh, passing formations as well. I think that in any scenario you need an additional guy helping you out in the middle and I've said that in my tip videos you always need somebody to help you out so in this scenario uh, what I would want is you know in typical fashion I would stand them all up uh, but I think that's overkill. I don't think you need three zone linebackers in this game this year so what I meant by Mac being a free man uh, if you want to you can send him on a blitz um, it's not the most effective. It helps with a little bit of pressure. I'll show you an actual blitz later, uh, but he, that's one option you have with him. Another thing that I like to do with him is I like to man coverage him to the slot receiver. Now that, like I said, he's not going to uh, defend that slot receiver, um, you know, as well as a cornerback would. But it, it, him in conjunction with some of these other zones, it just really helps, especially if somebody's running something like they're running a lot of cross patterns. If the, if you have a defender and they're in the direction, uh, they have such an advantage in the direction that the receiver's going, he typically will, will beat that guy to the punch. So you can man him like this if you want to. And another thing you can do is you can create a Mabel concept, which is basically just put him on a hard flat. So those are your three options with this outside defender. You notice that I'm using him on the open side of the field at all times. Is there's no reason to use that the other side um, guy because basically if somebody's running a route over there, it's most likely going to run out of space or they're going to run out of bounds because they catch the ball. There's no reason to do that. You want to leave that side and not worry about that. But the guy on the open side of the field, which is Mac, the free defender, you really have your choice what you want to do. You can also man him to the tight end. He'll cover the tight end just fine. Uh, all right, so we're back to um, the menu screen. I just wanted to show you a slight adjustment when picking this play on the Blitz version. You want to flip the play. That's R2 if you don't know. But essentially it changes what the safety's assignments are, and I want this safety to be able to go in after the quarterback. So we're going to flip the play. All right, so real simple. We flip the play because I want this safety down in the box. Okay, he's going to be the guy that I'm sending on a Blitz. He's what's going to make this play happen. So basically, once again, you go back to your free defender. You're going to stand him up. And then this cornerback here, because like I said, previously he was on the other side, um, he's much better. Your cornerbacks are going to cover much better than safeties or linebackers. So I want him on the open side of the field because I need him to, to shut down as much as possible. You can bring him down. It really doesn't matter. You still want to base a line like I had before uh, because you don't want to get beat. I mean, in this scenario, you might have to worry about it considering uh, the formation you're looking at. But if there's a re receiver outside, you want to base a line so you don't get beat. Um, and then this is essentially the look. Uh, the last thing you're going to do is you're going to send Nelson here in. And that's going to be your best option because you're really only adjusting two guys. Oh, and then baseline. So, like I said, simplest way: send in baseline, send in your corner, or send in your safety, and stand up your outside linebacker. This will give you enough coverage, and it'll give you a nice blitz. There we go. Get in there. Um, and like you can disguise this by moving both of these safeties down or not both these safeties uh, moving one safety and one uh, cornerback down like this so they never really know where it's coming from and then you can play games where you're essentially uh, just choosing which side you're leaving in coverage 
You know what I mean? It's like that. That's always an option. This is this is a good blitz because it looks like the exact same on both sides. If you bring both cornerbacks down, they're never going to know where it's coming from. So they'll never know where to slide protection to. That's one of the things that makes this a really good play. And then in the same fashion, you can do the same thing with your zones. So let's say that I want to bring down uh, Joseph here, even though I wouldn't do this on the open side of the field. I'm just saying hypothetically. Uh, but say this is what you want to do. Then the blitz is the exact same. You can't tell what's going on. You can't tell where it's coming from. Uh, even though I'm messing on the camera angle here. You can't tell where it's coming from because it's the same look on both sides. I'm messing up my zones. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and let's run it. Like I said, it's open side of the field. I wouldn't typically do this. It's not the end of the world, though. I'll go ahead and I'll do it. Let's see how it works out. As you can see, they're hitting the flats. That's why I say leave the, the open end, uh, leave the uh, short end open because you can see how they have no room to go anywhere. That's why the blitz typically coming from the backside is the best way to go. Uh, but I'm just showing you because there is slide protection and stuff like that, how it's best um, to run the play. Uh, you know, you can run the blitz from either side. So let's go ahead and let's rock this another couple of times. I haven't gotten any run plays. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's a bit of a unique play right there. It'll mess you up there. Yeah, obviously stuff like that's going to be best covered by a man or a cover too, but it's all good. Defense caught my pants down a little bit on that play. But let's go ahead and let's rock this. I didn't mean to shift the whole line, but <laughs> let's go ahead and let's do this. Might work even better the way that I shift that line. Look how he comes in free. I mean, shifting the line might have helped, but I'm not sure. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do that again. I was I've been getting pressure just running it without that shift and like I said if they if they start noticing the shifts and all that stuff it's real simple you just run from the other side you just run Joseph in and then zone it you know do it accordingly to the other side this is really gonna be hard for defenders um, to figure out what you're doing because you can do it from either side and you see the free man coming in again really nasty blitz he had to throw it away so like I said if your opponent sees you're bringing these guys down. That's why it's best to bring them both down, just to, just to uniform it. Um, but if they if if they think they know where the blitz is coming, they start sliding protection the wrong way. It's going to be easier sacks. Look at that. Oh, that was he was right in his face, send, sending him away. Look at the pressure, man. Look at that. Fumble six. Oh wow. Down. What was that? Down opponent. Yeah, I find it's helping to stand or to shift that line. I didn't really mention standing in the gap originally too. Standing over the center is always good because you're, you're dropping straight back so it doesn't hurt to stand there and there we go that's just wow that really destroyed the run and somebody broke the tackle but whatever all right let's rock and roll this like I said, I'll keep standing here because I'm dropping straight back so there's no real reason not to gets the play action dude's coming around the edge and he forces it to the force defender let's go and that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shit out.